Heike Kamp. I am the Berlin Commissioner for Data Protection and Freedom of Information. Dear colleagues, many greetings from Berlin to Bermuda. I would like to bring to your attention a very significant draft of European legislation. As part of the EU's package to strengthen democracy and electoral integrity, the EU Commission has presented a draft regulation on transparency and targeting of political advertising in November 2021. Since the draft is not part of the digital package of the European Union, it flies a bit under the radar in data protection circles. At the same time, this draft regulation affects one of the most important data protection issues on the Internet. Why is that? Because it deals in particular with specifications for targeting and amplification of messages and content, content that can affect the political opinion forming process of each individual. The European Commission has seen a need for regulation since the personal data collected directly from citizens or derived through their online activity as well as behavioral profiling and other analysis are used to target political messages to citizens. This information is also used to amplify impact and circulation by tailor tailoring the content and its dissemination on the basis of characteristics determined through the processing of these personal data and their analysis. Policymakers can use micro-targeting technologies to spread conflicting messages to different groups or individuals of potential voters based on the assessment what they most likely would agree to. People can be addressed with that content on those occasions to which they are particularly receptive and online. The algorithmic recommendations of information also increase the reach and visibility of messages. That is what is behind the amplification algorithms. These are designed to keep people using the online platform in order to maximize advertising profits. What is algorithmically flushed into the foreground also gives the impression of being generally relevant. The risk of misinformation and the targeting targeted manipulation of voters is correspondingly high. That has specific and detrimental effects on citizens' fundamental rights and freedoms with regard to the processing of personal data. Their rights to be treated fairly and equally, not to be manipulated, to receive objective information, to form their opinion freely, to make political decisions and exercise their voting rights can be infringed. This can negatively affect the de democratic process. Misleading or obscure advertising for political purposes is a risk because it influences the core mechanisms that enable the functioning of our societies and increase the risk of spreading disinformation. Therefore, we see that data protection regulation serves an important purpose here because processing of personal information is the basis for all these activities. Therefore, the regulation needs to safeguard the possibility to obtain objective information and to preserve the right to freely form an opinion and political will. Against this background, the EU Commission presented the draft regulation on political targeting that is currently in the European lawmaking process. In this context, it is discussed that the existing possibilities under the GDPR to lawfully tailor advertising to individuals and to address it to them are subject to systematic abuse, especially with regard to obtaining consent. A large number of different actors, for example, advertisers, online tracking services, online platforms, are usually involved in the targeted selection, displaying advertisement and addressing of users. The complex data processing and data flows within those online advertising networks are almost impossible for individuals to understand. 
Nevertheless, data subjects are often forced to consent. Consequences can neither be assessed nor is it possible to control whether data processing is actually adapted to the data subject's decision. Thus, self-determined informed consent to data processing becomes a fiction. The concept of cons consent under the GDPR reaches its limits here. The higher the degree of complexity of the processing situation, the less likely it is that the consent will be effective. So it is discussed to provide for legal measures such as increasing the number of recipients, limiting the categories of personal information used for profiling and targeting, prohibiting the use of very sensitive information to create an environment in which consent can once again take effect in its true sense. The complexity and depth of data processing should be legally contained in such a way that it is comprehensible for the individual and can actually be controlled by consent. However, the consent problem described above affects not only targeting and amplification in the area of political advertising, but all areas and networks in which micro-targeting technologies are used. Whether the proposed approach to political targeting will be approved and serve as a model for regulation in Europe in other areas remains to be seen. I hope you have a wonderful time at the GPA. Take care and bye-bye from Berlin.